Your dad, Martin, was a keen cricketer. He had a bat in your hand when you started walking. Yep. You had a coach at the age of five yeah. and you began playing for the school side at the age of seven. Hmm. What was his grand plan? I remember the day that we were at Unley Oval, old wooden stand, and he said to me, come up here, I want, to, want you to meet someone. He took me up the back of the stand and he introduced me to Lynn Fuller and he said, I want to get the kid coached. What age should I bring him around to you? And Lynn said, how old is he now? And Martin said, he's five. He said, bring him next Sunday. So from five to 17, every Sunday of the summer, we would go to Lynn Fuller's house to be coached by Lynn. We were never allowed to use a softball, tennis ball. It always had to be either a baseball or a cricket ball, hard ball. And you'd be walking around the house minding your own business and suddenly whoa, Martin would fire one of these hard balls at you. Jeez, how were the windows? You learned to catch, yeah. otherwise you got abused for not catching it. But Martin was right. He didn't want us to be frightened of the hard ball. Mm. The important things we learnt from Martin were, I'll never forget the words. He said, play hard but play fair. And when I read in Clive Lloyd's book, he said, I captained against the chapels a lot. And he said, they played very hard, but all was fair. And I thought to myself, Martin would be very happy with that. 